Welcome to another wonderful episode of our movie reviews on Defect TV. You know the vibe that we bring you movies that are trending, that are little, 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 that are hot. Movies that you have to, have to, have to watch. And you know, over time, we've been giving you the likes of um, mad, mad, you don't mean mad movies, mad movies. You can attest to the fact that we bring you movies that are setting the pace. So, so I'm talking about a movie that is super, super interesting. A movie that I really like because it is based off of true events that have happened here in Nigeria. I know you're already wondering. I'm not going to tell you what the name of this movie is yet. We're going on a break and when we get back, I'll be telling you about the movie. But before that, please, 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 like, follow, share, turn your post notifications because you already know the vibe. Defect TV, premium content and nothing. <laughs> Guys, so far from the break, I told you we're we'll discussing a movie that is litty, litty, lit. A movie that, um, would I say it's an eye opener or it's based off of really true events that have happened here in Nigeria? The name of this movie is not other than the movie Ponzi. Yes, Ponzi. I know, right? Super, super, super interesting, comic. I mean, the movie is everything that part, to be very honest. And I think at the end of the day, it's quite enlightening because it, um, it depicted what happened sometime in 2016 when a lot of Nigerians fell um, prey to the MMM Ponzi scheme. Now, this movie is um, written by Toluwani O'Brien and produced by Vincent Okonkwo. This movie is character packed. Yeah, I mean, character packed. There are a lot of interesting actors in it. They have the likes of Maori Gavo, Timini Ebusong, Zubi Michael, to mention but a few. But yes, my baby, Mr. Macaroni, was also in this movie. This movie goes to show the likes of. Um, and then there's something about this movie that actually really made sense to me eventually. Because people that actually do fall prey to this Ponzi scheme a lot of times are people in very rural community people that really are suffering and are looking for every means possible to make money i think this movie is a must watch because this movie um depicts a lot of things the fact that most of them had to go all the way to borrow money to double it because they're tired of their poverty stricken state so the movie takes place in a very very small community where we have the likes of mr macaroni timini Zubi michael you know, all of them are like in the community and they have the lords. He tries to be Michael to kill the character of a uh, community lord. You already know, you see him smoking with his bag of money and nobody knows where the money is coming from. And then we have Mr. Macaroni and his younger brother, Timini, who are legit suffering. Did I forget to mention that Brother Shaggy is in that movie? See, um, this movie is character perfect. Like, there are a lot of people that in this movie and they brought every when I mean every character to life so this movie um, tells the story of this brother who are trying to make money at all costs because of more poverty now I will not complete it but you already know that if poverty hooks you if you suffer any means to make wealth is <laughs> the best means if you ask me but then again yes yeah, so they get go go around so there's this rich influential man that comes into their community with a lot of cash, you know, train a lot of money with his bouncers. Trust my only gave to give you the fine boy panache. So he came with the whole fine boy panache, you know, money and everything. And everybody's like, oh, where's the money coming from? I'm telling them, invest in gold money, oil money. And these brothers borrow as in, when they say borrow, you know, when they say borrow, not a borrow versus not a few. Ah, they went on a borrowing speed because they wanted to double the money and become, you know, wealthy people. And then they put their money in. And just as MMM big Nigerians, <laughs> them shaggy. Because the money disappeared. And the own and the Maori gavel disappeared. So I'll say that first of all, um, from the storyline, the movie is super, super amazing. And I like the fact that it's not just a regular type of movie. It's it's based off of two events. Whether or something that actually is relatable because a lot of people invested their money in MMM in this Nigeria. And or more the breakfast that they chose. But then again, I also love the fact that they chose they carefully 
selected your characters, they brought characters that could bring everything to play. Imagine having the likes of Mr. Macaroni, uh, Yubi Michael, Timini, and Brother Shaggy. Excuse me, to be honest, if you know that, ah, along that village ghetto vibe, you get it 100 and they killed it. I would also just say that they are continuity as a production manager 100 percent to at least see the city i mean the video setting was 100 percent on point you would know in fact that thing literally just gives you the picture of an of a legal slum so, so to speak like you know it's a jokune vibe the the uh, setting gives mad jokune vibe you would know that this place i'm um, actually really great oh they did very good and I mean, when it comes to the costuming oh my jesus beautiful 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 costuming character ca oh my god the characters kill their way when it comes to costuming because everybody looks their parts i mean if you look at the way mr macaroni looks in that you agree that poverty actually i don't want to say word but then you know poverty mm -hmm. you see the way timmy see, see. i'd like to say that timmy knows how to body every role in that movie i forgot that that was the bad boy team that was on peak i'm looking so hungry I'm pitiful. But then again, that was 100%. And I would say that for the first time, I actually really love the fact that they maximized their time in the movie. The movie did not look like they were rushing to end it. They took their time. And then every scene gave back to the next scene. So the plot line was progressing down to the end. And all I'm going to say is at least there are the moral lesson to peak. I mean, it's not just for the last and all of that. There's a lot to learn. Is that there's nothing like fast money. See, there's nothing like money doubling. Ponzi. See, our voice. And then, yeah, I'd like to say that the person that named the movie Ponzi killed it because it depicts everything that Ponzi is. So please, please, and please, if you have not seen the movie Ponzi, you are sleeping on bike, and I think my foot chest because it is a must watch. Like, you guys are doing that normally, I would. Give it the pros and, and I'll give it the very big cons. Very to my number, they shock me. I didn't have cons like that to put out in the movie. But there are a lot of pros, you know, the life lessons you're gonna learn. And the fact that, oh my god, Mr. Macaroni, I think you should invest in acting very well because you are good. Like, I like you wanted to cry when you were crying, when you were like, struggling like a child. Oh my god. But then again, I mean, when I think about it, it's like, what is it for that bold money I put in MMM? How are they even surviving? How are they coping? I mean, how do they sleep at night? You know, their death toes on their neck, constantly on the run, having to not pick your calls, you know, all of that. Cause so it's like, you know, the Nigerian average Nigerian man really just wants to make money decrease and then we are even thinking about the other side. So please, if you have not watched, I feel like it is educative, especially to the young ones, because a money quest to make money now is it's way too much. You hear a lot of news about people doing rituals. I don't know, a lot of funny, funny things anyways. But then again, I would say that this movie is everything educating, everything comic relieving. If you're looking for a good laugh, trust me, you will laugh. If you want to learn lessons, you will learn lessons. So, I, so that's the thing. I love the balance. I love the fact that with the whole laughter, you don't lose sight of the message. And with the whole message, you don't lose sight of, you know, great to laugh and all of that. So yes, if you have not seen the movie Ponzi, take out time. Please don't carry hot chocolate because you'll point on yourself. I'm very, I swear you point on yourself. So look for very chilled juice. Don't like this, like Coke. Coke is good. Buy cold Coke, popcorns, anything, and sit down and get ready to laugh your heart out. And at the same time, learn one or two. I'll be doing the curtain here on this particular episode do not forget watch the movie and the very most important thing drop your comments what do you think about the movie it wasn't always be all you know it was this it was this if you have other things to say drop it in the comment section and if there are movies you would love us to review take out your time to put them in the comment section because you know at different tv the aim is to plainly satisfy you with mad 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 content so like come your way next time I remain searching. Bye for now. Oh, oh, oh.